Hi! Oh my god, hi! I missed you guys. Thank you for those of you who responded to my community post in support of me getting a new job. That is appreciated more than you know. And just the patience y'all have had with me um, and the support you know, while not posting for a couple weeks while I get settled into this new job is just, it's really, um, it's really been helpful for me because I always, I don't want to be that YouTuber that posts once in a blue moon, you know? Sorry. The birds are back for the summer. They are loud. I guess I'll just fill you in about everything. So I'm not going to be obviously saying where I work or really what neighborhood I work. I mean, I guess I could say that. I work in Soho. I work in Soho. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But you know, from my previous vlogs that I am, a, uh, I was a waitress for a really long time. Not only a waitress, but I did a lot of fr different front of house jobs in restaurants and that was great for a while, but now I'm doing administrative work. Yeah, I'm personally excited about the company I'm working for and I'm just really grateful to have been hired at a job that allows me to sit all day. <laughs> because this job is like, it's a lot of mental gymnastics, whereas waiting tables, it was still mental gymnastics uh, quite, you know, obviously, but you're also on your feet all the time and that was getting hard on my body. Um, and I'm in thinking long-term, I want a position that allows me to like actually be able to work out after work and not already be tired, you know? So that's where I'm at today, which is kind of great. I'm home seven o'clock and I have time to work out. But last week, yo, when I was coming home, I was, staying extra hours and stuff because it's your first week it's just a lot of work getting home and just studying and working more honestly so i didn't have any time to do any workouts my routine was all messed up so this week is a little bit different it's a bit nicer i still take my work home with me but it's good like i i like i wake up at 7 a.m i technically am supposed to start at 9 30 in the morning but i've been getting there at like 8 45 because i just want to be ready for the day and then i'm supposed to leave at 5 30 and i leave around like 6 30 so it's going really well and I'm really excited about it. But you know, out of respect for the people I work for and out of respect for myself for privacy, I, I won't be sharing like who I work for or, or too much even to what I do. But you know, I'll, I'll keep you posted on like how it's going now. I wanted to put a video out just to say hi at least. For me personally, it's my belief I, for YouTube that quality is more important than quantity. And I'd never want to put out videos that I don't I didn't really put my whole heart into it. And I knew it was gonna be a really tough transition from working full time versus when I had like every day to work on my YouTube channel and to edit. And y'all, when I edit videos, when I first started YouTube, it took me like 15 to 16 hours to edit a YouTube video, which is obscene. Now it takes me like seven to eight hours per vlog just to edit and then filming's a different story. So I don't I don't wanna put something out that's like half-assed. That's how I see it. With channel updates, just keep being patient with me, please. And make sure to check my community posts. I usually, if you know, there's anything you need to know. Thursdays are my day to post community posts. So keep an eye out for that. Summer is here. I'm gonna work out. Love that, love it. <laughs> water who's talking to me okay we're gonna do a little updated nighttime skincare routine just holding up this from this morning and I have a couple cool products I want to talk about but we'll just go one step at a time okay so first things first when I take off my makeup ugh, I've been using the green clean for pharmacy makeup melt away cleansing balm I personally like it like the scent's mild enough where it doesn't bother me but normally I try and like not have anything scented so I just take a little bit, just rub it around. I'm learning to like not rub so hard because I will give myself wrinkles that way and that's not fun. I've been doing this even 
without wearing makeup because I wear sunscreen every day and it breaks that up too and I don't end up breaking out. I'm not breaking out at all from any of my skincare products which is the first time in my life where that hasn't been the thing. Um, and I believe this has something to do with it but I know if you don't wash off cleansing balm you'll break out really badly. It comes with a little spatula, it's cute. And then I take a little bit and then I just put this on my eyeball. So in the summertime I use waterproof mascara especially with masks like you would think it would be the opposite like in the summer you don't have to wear waterproof but the steam from wearing a mask creates condensation that melts my mascara <laughs> all right rinse this off if you don't rinse this off you will break out and then <laughs> and then i use face wash that I used this morning and night. It's a Vino Calm and Restore for Sensitive Skin Nourishing Oat Cleanser. Um, I got this recommendation from Hiram's channel. I've talked about him before on my channel because I love his content so much. He's all about like sensitive skin products. I get too like rubby with this as well. Like I need to just chill out. Like Chelsea, just work it in slowly. Don't give yourself premature aging. Well, I guess at this point it's not premature. It's just we're at the reactive stage, not the proactive stage. It has a little scent to it, but it's um doesn't make my face red or anything. And it doesn't foam, which I don't particularly like, but my face always feels really clean. And that's what matters the most to me is that it's like hydrated, not dry. Wash it off now. I know you shouldn't do this, but I do it. Are you drying your face with the towel that you wash, that you dry off your body with after a shower? I know you're not supposed to do that, I know. I know that's putting bacteria on your skin, and I know, but whatever. Clearly, I'm not breaking out from it. <laughs> so I have to act fast here because I add hyaluronic acid right after, and if I remember right, it's a humectant. If you don't have, start with like a little bit damp of a face, it'll pull moisture from your skin to give you that like plumpiness instead of the environment. You don't want to like use a hydrating, you know, product like this and then it ends up like actually stripping moisture from your skin like that. I gotta say though, the green clean whatever, if anyone uses this, this cleansing balm, man it gives you mad like eye boogers with all of your makeup. It's the only reason why I buy q-tips is to get out those eye boogers. All right, so next at nighttime, I'm still messing around with niacinamide, but I was using this, I got this avocado ceramide recovery serum um, in another vlog. I'm almost out of it. <laughs> I like to use niacinamide, but I ended up using too many niacinamide products at the same time, and I irritated the fuck out of my skin. And this one's scented too, which I don't really like, so I'm not gonna repurchase this, but I'm gonna use it. Oh. But I do have the Ordinary Niacinamide Serum, but I think this was too strong for my face because it made me like a lot of redness that I've never experienced before and then I stopped using it and it stopped happening, so. I don't really th think it could even be the Niacinamide that's giving me issues. Maybe it was just the amount I was using because I was using a lot. But there's also some other ingredients in here that my skin could not like and I just don't really know. So I'm, I'm just trying to limit the amount that I use on my face. Next! So today is Thursday. No, today's Wednesday, good. So that is my retinol day, and I'm still new with retinol, so I only use it once a week. But I use the Ordinary Grand Active Retinoid 2% Emulsion or whatever. And you're supposed to apply this after you put on like the serums, and then you can add the treatment. So I think like less is more when it comes to this stuff, you aim to just put just enough on your skin. Just enough. Yeah, give it on the neck. Sorry, I'm looking in the viewfinder to do this, so that's why I'm not looking at the camera. Wouldn't that be weird if I was like putting this on and just like staring at you too? How does this make you feel? <sighs> the last step of my routine. Well, not almost the last step. Trader Joe's moisturizer, which I am really happy that this works. And this is like five, six bucks. I'm just gonna thinly coat my face to lock in everything I just did. I'm trying to get as many products as I can that are the cheapest, that work the best. <laughs> and then the last step is a retinol eye cream from the Inky List, which Hiram talks a lot about on his channel, but I've never seen him review this product. And I really don't even know if there's enough retinol in this to actually make a difference, but I use this every day. I know there's retinol in it, but I'm assuming that, you know, they would tell you not to use it every day. And voila! I mean, that's my skincare, but there's a really cool product I want to talk about. Just wash my hands. See, this is so bad. I just like washed my face with this and I'm like wiping my 
hands on it. Uh, a company reached out to me, y'all. I'm getting brand deals now. How exciting is that? They are called Bloom and they have the best customer service ever. Shout out to Jade who reached out to me and was like the nicest person ever. They are a female founded clean beauty and body care brand on a mission to break boundaries and smash taboos, which I'm like, Yes, please. You can find them in Teen Vogue, Allura, Forbes, and more, which is pretty cool. So Bloom was created to make self-care easier and healthier while destigma- I'm literally reading the website. While destigmatizing normal things like acne, puberty, periods, and sex ed. It's not like I'm trying to be an ad here, but the a mission of a company is so important to me, and that's why I, re I don't promote any brands on my channel. This will be the first one, I think. Because it has to like align with my channel, it has to align with like what I want, products I want to use, products I think you guys would want, and I just felt like this really aligned. Bloom is great. If y'all have been looking for a natural deodorant, I'm really vibing with this. It's called Hug Me. It's so cute. Naturally powerful odor protection. There's no aluminums and no parabens, and I know it's really hard to find natural deodorants that actually work, honestly. I think it depends for me. This works when I don't over apply it because it does give me like little balls in my armpits. <laughs> God, I'm terrible. It gives me balls in my armpits when I use too much because it just like gathers. It doesn't really sink into your skin, which I guess I like, but so if you're wearing black, it may not be like the best option for you because it might get on your clothes, but it does a nice job if you just like put a little bit on and then maybe like reapply a little bit throughout the day, but don't go overboard. So I also never wore this when I worked out. So I don't know how well it will hold up in the gym or if you're running, I don't know. But for me in my day to day, this is actually pretty cool. But I, I do use, when I work out, I use Old Spice Pure Sport and this one has no aluminums in it and it just smells like man and I like it. They gave me a code to use, so I'll pop it up on on the screen and in the description box if you're interested in this. I believe this is $16. I know it's steep, but you know, this old spice in New York, this is like eight, eight or nine. So it's a little bit more, but it's better for you. And this scent of this one, it doesn't have one. See, it's kind of like a pasty like cream and it feel, you can feel like little granules on it too. But yeah, it comes out. Can we focus on the finger please? It's like doing an eye test. Camera, come on. Yeah, so. Anyways, if you're interested, use that code if you want a little discount. So check it out. I'm gonna wrap up this vlog. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me and for being patient with me for the last couple weeks. I hope to continue posting. See, now I look red, but it's really not the skincare. It's just freaking hot in my apartment. I still haven't put my AC in and it's like 90 degrees every day. Y'all make sure to like this video if you liked it. So that means like give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and ring that notification bell. If you have any videos you want to see from me, let me know. Y'all have a great weekend. Happy hot person summer. Okay. I love you guys. Bye.